dress the part for this video. So I had to be a little bit gaudy just to get in character because it makes me feel like I'm supposed to be dripped down with gold and silver and just expensive high-end type of feel. So that's what I'm pulling with my outfit today. So please excuse my nail. I did break it today so I didn't have time to go get it done before I filmed this video. So please excuse that in this video. So if you want to see more of an in-depth review on these lipsticks, I did already do a video on them. So make sure you check that out. I'll leave it in the bottom bar below. So let's go ahead and get into the new ones that I picked up. So I did pick up five new lipsticks and I'm just going to go ahead and dive right into them. So the first one here is Dijaluzi. Yeah, DJ Luzi, and it's in the number 405M. And of course, all of the boxes are gonna be the gold ones, and here's what it looks like. So I did go ahead and add a little clip onto my lipsticks so that I can clip them on my necklace or in my storage unit because I do store these a little bit different, and we will get into that a little bit later in the video. But I did go ahead and put a little clip on there or claps or whatever you wanna call that. So there it is, and it is in silver. I wish it was gold, but when I went and purchased them, they only had silver left. So whenever I find a gold one, I'm gonna switch them out. But as you can see, it looks like that. And all of these have it on there also. That's how I got to clip them on. So I can clip them on anywhere on this necklace. And this is just a used necklace that I took apart and just added these onto them. You can add one, two, three, four, five, the whole collection, whatever you wanna do with it. And I just felt like being a little bit extra today, so I added five onto the necklace. I could have did more, but I wasn't gonna go too far. So that's what I added to the lipsticks. So this one looks like this. This is a matte shade and it's so pretty. And as I stated before, the texture on the matte is a little bit different. It looks kind of like sandpaper when you look at it, the texture on it. And I really, really love the matte formula on these lipsticks the best. It's not drying, it's very moisturizing on the lips and it does still give you that matte finish. But this one is pulling a brown undertone to it. It's a nice like fall shade to me more on the mauve and neutral side. And I will be doing lip swatches towards the end of the video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. The next one here is Miss Clinchy, and it's the 321. And this is the satin collection, so it's gonna have that shiny finish to it. And as I stated, I did put the little claps on all of them. This one has the gold one, so this is what I want it to look like. <laughs> So there it is there. And this color is so pretty. It's like a plummy shade. It's a straight plummy shade, yeah. So I really, really love this color. The next one here is Bengali, and it's in number 100. They do have two Bengalis. They have it in the matte finish and the satin finish. And I have mine in the satin finish because the matte finish was sold out. So I will be picking that one up also. But this one is like your typical pink, bright neon type of pink. It kind of pulls a little bit of Candy Yum Yum maybe from MAC. So that's what that looks like. I think this was like one of their number one sellers because this is like a really popular color. The next one here is Selvilena. Selvilena, I guess that's how you say it. And it's number 400. This is in the satin finish also. And this color is a deep like chocolatey purple color. It kind of reminds me of Cyber from MAC maybe. Very pretty deep fall shade. And the last one that I picked up here is Impera, and it's in the number 300, and a satin, of course. And this one is a nice nude shade, like a pinky nude shade. So when I did the last video, I didn't mention that this looks just like the Val from Death Becomes Her. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out. It's a really good movie. But this looks like the Val that she was giving her clients to give them everlasting life. So it looks just like that Val. <laughs> What is that? What you came for? A touch of magic in this world obsessed with science. A tonic? So now I'm just gonna get into the pros and cons because I do have a more in-depth review on these since I've been trying it out for a little while now. I kind of know what I like and what I don't like about them. So first we're gonna get into the pros. So the pros, I really love the formula on all of the lipsticks. I love the sheer matte and the satin formula, so they really did good on the formula part. The packaging is beautiful on the lipsticks. I really love it. I love gold, and it just screams high-end to me, so I really, really love the packaging. 
I love the fact that it has some weight to it so it's very sturdy. It's going to withstand the test of time. It's not something that you would drop and it just break on you. It's going to last for a very long time. The only thing is that the top is more of a plastic material and the bottom is more of a like a steel type of material. So I'm guessing they made the top more plastic so that the whole thing wouldn't be too heavy. But I kind of wish they would have made the top the same material as the body of the lipstick because the top does feel a little bit cheap. I love the fact that this is multi-purpose. So after you're done using it as a lipstick, you can also use it as a charm on the necklace or you can use it as an ornament for Christmas or whatever you want to use it for. It can be decoration. I just love it so much. So that was a really great selling point for this lipstick. So as I stated, I really like the packaging. I love the fact that they give you this little pouch here so whenever you're traveling you can go ahead and throw your lipstick in here and keep it well protected and the last thing I really love about it is the wide range of color that they have you would definitely find a color that you would love so yeah that is the pros about this let's go ahead and get into the dirty cons So the first con that I have about it is this damn shoelace that they sold with this thing. Like this made the value looks a little bit cheap and cheesy. They should have just made like a regular chain, like a gold chain, like a thin gold chain. It doesn't have to be, you know, a thick one that costs a lot, but a, you know, just a regular fake gold chain would have did better than this. As you can see, I did use real jewelry and it's not something you have to go out and buy. You can use an old necklace that you had and repurpose it. So it's not something that's going to cost you extra money. Just don't wear your pretty lip stick with this shoestring lace okay so I'm probably gonna go ahead and just toss all of these also I don't like the fact that they don't have the name printed on the actual lipstick they have the number to refer to the box so you can see the name of it but it just seems like you could have just printed the name here also so yeah I really think they should have did that also the packaging itself it kind of reminds me of a coffin even though that's kind of like not a bad thing, it kind of reminds me of a like vampire coffin, not like an actual human coffin, but like a vampire, like Dracula coffin. So that could be a pro or a con. I'm not really sure where I'm going with that, but it does remind me of a little coffin. Also, if you're not like crafty and all that good stuff, this would be very hard to store. I like to have my stuff stored really nicely and pretty. So it was kind of hard for me to figure out how I wanted to store all these lipsticks, especially if you're going to have a large collection of them. You don't want to just have a whole bunch of boxes everywhere. So I did have to come up with an idea on how to store this and still make it look classy. So I did figure out how I wanted to store these. So I will show you guys in a minute. So that was one thing that I hated is very hard to store and of course we're gonna address the elephant in the room the price the price is redonkulous $90 for a lipstick is kind of outrageous of course you know I'm gonna think is well worth it because I just love the lipstick I love the brand I love the formula so I do have one more con and this one is really aggravating me it's really really aggravating me and you might not have this issue if you're gonna have just one or two lipsticks but if you plan on having a big collection of this this is really going to irk your nerves if you're somebody like me and you just took the tops off your lipsticks just to look at all of them and you know to test them out and then you go back to put all the tops back on so the tops doesn't have like a number or a name so you can put it back on that exact containers and some of them don't fit the same so that is going to be a con because if you're planning on wearing it as a charm and the top is not fitting tightly you know your lipstick is going to fall out so that's one thing that I do hate about that I wish they would have put a number somewhere in here but they didn't and I don't see why all the tops wouldn't fit equally but they don't like this one comes off really easy and I don't know how to fix it I tried the same top on all of them and they all fit loose with this one so I don't really know what to do about that so like that one like it fits tight it's not gonna come off but this one here it just came right off like super easy so that is like a major con. So if you're going to have more than one of these lipsticks, make sure you keep in mind which top belongs to which lipstick because you don't want to mix up your tops and end up with one like this because this is horrible. This is really horrible. So the first color I have here is Imperia.
The next shade here is Bengali, and this is a satin finish. So next we have Sivalena, and this is a satin finish. Next we have here Miss Cleachy, and this is a satin. So the last one here is Dijaluji. Here I did add some charms to my chains just to give it a little bit of decoration and they did come off of this chain here this was an old chain that I had and I just took those off and hung it on the chain here so as you can see I have three different chains here I have a silver one here which holds all of my staples in the collection and then I have right here a silver and white one it holds my matte ones and one of my sheer and then the one back here is a gold chain and that holds all of my satin lipsticks so as you can see here I do have it in this um, china cabinet so all I did was take this out let me take it out now so all I did was lift up this glass here and I put the chains on there so it is holding very sturdy it's not going to go anywhere and I just drooped it down at the bottom there so as you can see it looks like that this does move so I did just you know scoot it in there and put the glass back down so that's how I have it hanging I thought that was like the perfect idea to store it and make it look very cute because I'm all about presentation. I love when stuff looks very nice. So I thought that was cute all on its own, but I wanted to add a little bit more to it. So I'm gonna add this limited edition nail polishes that they came out with, which is like the same theme. It's like the Egyptian theme. And I do have all three shades in the polishes. So, so I made cute little charms. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there. I made another one which looks like that has a bow on it and I'm just gonna put that on this one like that and then the last one I just have some chains so I'm just gonna put that on here so I thought that was adorable <laughs> and if that wasn't enough I needed a place for this golden rose so I thought this would be cute to put it in here at first I had it in here like that just chilling but I thought that was just kind of boring then I tried to put it up here but you know, it just, I don't know. It's not doing too much for me. I'm not sure if I should do it like that or not. And then I just ended up just putting it in this nail polish and having it stand up like that. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Is that the best way to store it? I think that is very cute. So I just thought that was so cute. If you guys like this, let me know. Leave a comment below if you think I should leave it like this or if there's another way I should store it. But I think this is perfect. So that is it with my Christian Louboutin haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found this video very helpful if you are looking to pick up some colors. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you did enjoy it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah! Bye bye. So if you haven't already and you'd like to, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You're going to go ahead and press subscribe on the top right corner. Make sure you click the little icon on the side of it and click send me updates so you won't miss out on any of the new videos coming up. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one. Lights are red and there's sweat on your embrace. When everything I dare. Lights are red and there's time to your Hey,
beauties and welcome back to beauties world so today 